In this video, we can see how to find the Laplace transform of sin root t. Hope you all know the Taylor series expansion of sin x. So it is sin x is equal to x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x power 5 by 5 factorial and so on. Sin root t is equal to root t minus root t whole cube by 3 factorial. In place of x, now it's root t. So root t whole cube by 3 factorial plus root t whole power 5 by 5 factorial and so on. So now we can write the Laplace transform of sin root t as Laplace transform of root t minus root t whole cube by 3 factorial plus root t whole power 5 by 5 factorial and so on. Root t can be written as t power 1 by 2. Root t whole cube can be written as t power 3 by 2 and so on. Using linear t property of Laplace transform, we can write Laplace transform of sin root t as Laplace transform of t power 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 factorial we are taking outside Laplace transform of t power 3 by 2 plus 1 by 5 factorial Laplace transform of t power 5 by 2. Laplace transform of t power n is gamma n plus 1 upon s power n plus 1. So now we are applying this in Laplace transform of sin root t. So Laplace transform of t power 1 by 2 is gamma 3 by 2 upon s power 3 by 2. Laplace transform of t power 3 by 2 is gamma 5 by 2 upon s power 5 by 2. Now let's find the value of gamma 3 by 2, gamma 5 by 2 and so on. Gamma n plus 1 is n gamma n. So we can write gamma 3 by 2 as gamma 1 by 2 plus 1. Using the above formula, it can be written as 1 by 2 gamma 1 by 2. Value of gamma 1 by 2 is root pi. Therefore, the value of gamma 3 by 2 is 1 by 2 root pi. Similarly, gamma 5 by 2 can be written as gamma 3 by 2 plus 1, which is same as 3 by 2 gamma 3 by 2. And the value of gamma 3 by 2 we got as 1 by 2 root pi. Therefore, gamma 5 by 2 is equal to 3 by 2 times 1 by 2 root pi, which is equal to 3 by 4 root pi. We can substitute the value of gamma 3 by 2, gamma 5 by 2 and gamma 7 by 2. By substituting the value of gamma 3 by 2, gamma 5 by 2, gamma 7 by 2, we get Laplace transform of sine root t as this. In all term, root pi by 2 by s power 3 by 2 is common. Taylor series expansion of e power minus x is equal to 1 minus x by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial minus x cube by 3 factorial. In the above equation, the terms inside the bracket 1 minus 1 by 4s plus 1 by 2 factorial 1 by 4s whole square is same as the terms in Taylor series expansion of e power minus x. In place of x, it is 1 by 4s. So the Laplace transform of sine root t is equal to root pi by 2 s power 3 by 2 times e power minus 1 by 4s. Hope you all like this video. Thank you for watching.